electron counting in a silicon single electron pump. In single electron pumping, the idea is to employ a nanoscale structure through which an integer number of n electrons is transferred per cycle with a frequency f. This yields a total current of n times f and it may be used for the realization of the quantum ampere. To estimate the amount of electrons transferred per cycle, we either measure directly the output current of the pump or we count them with a nearby integrated charge sensor. In this work, for the first time, we show the consistency of these two methods in case of charge pumps. The pumping principle in our quantum dot pump is as follows. We lower the left potential barrier and the potential of the dot and let the electron enter the dot. Then we ramp up the left barrier and raise the potential of the dot so that the trapped electron tunnels to the right. Our sample is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor based on silicon. The position of the quantum dot is emphasized with red. Note that we have temporal control over left barrier and the quantum dot. The first part of the experiment is called direct current scheme. In this scheme, we pump electrons from the left to the right and measure the output current from the drain side. In the second part of the experiment, we close the switch barrier shown as yellow here to create an electron reservoir denoted by green where the electrons are pumped. This reservoir is capacitively coupled to the charge sensor emphasized with blue. In the electron counting scheme, we pump electrons with the same DC and AC voltages as in direct current scheme. To avoid too large back action caused by the finite size of the reservoir, we initialize the reservoir after 22 pumping cycles by opening barriers of the dot so that the electrons can flow back to the source. After this, the pumping procedure can be repeated. The charge state is monitored with the charge sensor. Here we have a trace of this sensor output. The shaded area indicates the amount of electrons transferred per cycle. We compare the direct current and electron counting scheme. On the left, we have the direct output current of the pump as a function of the dot's DC potential. On the right, we have the probabilities for different amount of electrons transferred in the electron counting experiment. Let us compare the results from the two schemes to see if they do agree. Yes, the orange circle showing the average pumped charge obtained from the counting scheme closely follows the value obtained from the direct current scheme. In the future samples, we aim to have higher coupling to reduce the uncertainty in the sensor readout.